Churchill, Prime Minister of Great Britain during World War II! <laughs> Russia is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. Sounds tempting, dude, but I'll just have a regular beef burrito to go. Hot or mild sauce? And now, this! The place Montgomery, Alabama, the year 1955. At this time, the city was racially segregated. That is, there were separate places for blacks and for whites. Here goes nothing. Medieval portraits will go down in history. We bring you a scintillating dramatization of the theft of the crown jewels. It's an adventure packed with thrills, intrigue, and plenty of suspense. So sit back and enjoy today's offering, The Theft of the Crown Jewels. In 1671, the precious jewels of Great Britain's royal family were kept in the Tower of London. I shall paint the medieval castle here. The poems were engraved by Blake in an ornate calligraphic style that became his trademark. However, some of his ideas were a bit more radical, such as... Sterilized or sanitized! A time of leather, jars, and heavy face makeup! A time to say... Ha! Our job is done! <laughs> adopted the idea that these things, their layouts and backgrounds particularly, were, were uh, supposed to enhance the action. But it still took a lot of patrolling to get Louis XIV styles of that exaggerated hallways and exaggerated furniture and a huge bed. Some of the layouts, of course, I redrew. Uh, they had, had even animation started to it, and we discovered that a ceiling was too low and uh, that the doors were too normal sized and so forth. And so we, those things had to be corrected. As Will Rogers once said, I never met a man I didn't like. But for you, I'll make an exception. And for you, we have this. The year 1937, the place, the California, the people, the cans, O'Connor and Anderson. What's that you said to me, my father time? Tell me something I don't know. Well, my friend, you can kiss your simple country ways goodbye. Oh. And now, I represent the Dutch East India Company. It's time for between 1937 and 1955. On the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the prince kissed a girl where she lived happily ever after. After all, she loves me. Don't she agree? Well, I work the land as my people have for generations. Ladies and gentlemen of the House of Mouse, don't be a fool. No siree. Here's how to live to be 103. Always let your conscience be your guide. So on 1950, Cinderella lived in this dream to go on into the castle from bags to wishes and meet Prince Charming. I can last 37 more minutes. Besides, you were right. Everyone plays well if I'm nice. On 1951, Alice in Wonderland is on Miracle Dreams who was written by Lewis Cowell. It was unlike any tea party I had ever attended. Oh, well, it was mad, you see. Mad, mad! <laughs> Things were becoming curiouser and curiouser. Peter Pan was first released on February 3rd, 1953, and it was a many of Ollie's favorite. Who are you, and what have you done with my traditional agriculturally based economy? If that means stinky, we already know it, bro. When was the last time this poor creature had a fresh diaper? I'll tell you when, Ken. Have you considered Joseph Stalin got down in history? 1953? Before that! 